bring back our gaggle. Shira Tuplitz, Lois Romano, Maria Teresa Kumar. Okay, the RNC announced this big sort of initiative, their their autopsy, if you will, uh, Lois. And they, and they named some names, three members from the RNC, two sort of outsiders, Sally Bradshaw, Jeb Bush person, Henry Barber, you know, from the establishment, a little bit nephew of Haley Barber, Ari Fleischer, a very familiar face to a lot of folks. But it doesn't strike me as something, as anybody on that list is going to what I call break China. Being willing to sort of tell them some things. I think it gives things. new meaning to navel gazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these are the guys. It didn't feel like the right Well, topic. these are the guys who were saying all the polls were wrong. I mean, these are part of the delusional crowd. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think they needed some fresh, uh, some fresh blood in there. I mean, what about somebody from Rubio's staff? Or they needed some fresh blood. In well, I do find it interesting. It feels like they've checked boxes. They got a Jeb right. Bush person, a, a Haley Barber person. Right. I think that's absolutely right. It's like it's no, nobody that can actually come in and actually tell them, right. show a mirror to them, say this is Sheer, what you do. Eric, Eric Erickson and the folks at Breitbart have been yeah. obsessed with this issue about the sort of consultant culture right. of the Republican Party, and that it needs to be broken. Um, you know, Howard Dean broke China at the DNC. He did. People didn't like it. Nobody here. Are they going to break China? Well, probably not unless there's some kind of scandal or something, a greater scandal that brings a lot of stuff to light. But this is the way the Republicans organize their consultants. It's much more of a duopoly or a monopoly. Even in the polling industry, they have two pollsters who do, what, 75, 80 percent of their business. True. And that was a big prior to the problem in That's this true. last cycle. All right, shameless plugs. Maria, you first. Actually, it's a shameless one. It's more in memory of Jenny Rivera, who uh, passed away. She was a super yeah. mega star and incredible supporter of the Latino community, and we're going to miss her. Nice. Uh, sure. Uh, to two friends who got married this weekend, Adam and Amanda Slater. Congratulations. You are in that wedding zone, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> a lot of weeks and lives. Yeah. Yeah. Institute of Politics, where I was a fellow, did a fascinating recap of the convention. That's uh, from all the campaign managers last week. It's going to be out in a book in a week. I would urge I love everybody that. to read. It's always a fun book. Oral history. Yes, of, an oral history of what it all happened. Stuff in it. it always is. That's it for this edition of the Daily Rundown. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Chris Jansing's next. Bye bye.